postman can be set up high or he can be set up in the low block. Here we'll show him set up high. The perimeter players attempt to get the ball into the post. Here's a pass to the post. On the pass to the post, the man that makes the pass to the post cuts to the basket on the opposite side where he is. The other perimeter player cuts right off his tail, timing it just right so that this first guard is giving him a natural screen. The post player initially can shoot the ball or drive to the basket or he can hand off to either cutter or he can wait until both cutters come by and then he can go one-on-one -on -one to the basket. This is a concept what we call the post split. So the post split can be run high The post split can be run from a low set. Here the forward gets the ball into the post, cuts to the basket, guard cuts off, post split from the low set. Or we can have it from the elbow. We'll set the center here. We'll put a forward here and a guard here. Here the guard gets the ball into the post, cuts to the basket this way, forward cuts around here. In running our half court set against man to man, we have a two guard front with two forwards and a center. Our two forwards are positioned three feet from out of bounds at the free throw line extended. We want to spread the court as far as possible. Our center will be on the ball side at the elbow. Guards bringing the ball down the court normally will be parallel about 10 to 12 feet from each other. To begin our strong side offense, guard bringing the ball down the court, this guard here, bringing the ball down the court, will make a pass to the forward. The forward has made a one step or two step move to the basket, cuts back, and receives the ball about three feet above the free throw line extended and about three to six feet from out of bounds. Upon making the pass, the guard cuts directly to the corner. The center positions himself on the block. The weak side forward cuts to this area, and this guard makes himself available for a pass here. This is how we initiate strong side in our man-to-man -man offense half-court set. So here we have our guard in the corner after, after making the pass to the forward and cutting to the corner. We now have the ball here with the forward. He makes an attempt to get the ball into the center. If he gets the ball in the center, we can execute our post split. If the postman gets crowded or doesn't shoot the ball, this man fans out here and one of the passes we can make is to the forward on the weak side. So this is a basic play we run. We set up the triangle on the strong side, get the ball into the postman, split the post. We want a postman that's aggressive about shooting the ball or being a good passer passing it out when they uh, clamp down on him. So he can pass it out to the forward, give it off to either cutter, or shoot the ball. So again, here's our triangle set up on the strong side. Triangle meaning these three players right here are in a triangle. The center, the forward, and the guard. If the forward can't get the ball into the center, he can pass the ball down to the guard who can make the same attempt. If the guard passed the ball in the center, we can do the post split, 
Again, passer goes first. The forward can also elect to pass it back out to this guard here. Upon that pass being made, the center breaks to the ball. If the guard elects, he can pass it to the center. And again, we have post split, where this man breaks here, this man breaks here. So here we have our players set up in their normal set with the two guards, the forwards out wide and the center at the elbow, guard bringing the ball down the court, looking to pass the ball to the forward where we'd initiate our strong side offense. Here though, the guard is going to elect to pass the ball back to the other guard. This guard will go back. We don't want to pass this way. We want the pass back like this, back away from the defense. So this initiates what we call our weak side play. Upon making this pass to our other guard, this guard to guard pass initiates our weak side play. Guard to guard, when, we, when the ball goes back, against man-to-man -man is going to initiate weak side play. The rule for the center is that he lines up on the elbow on the initial ball down. So the ball is being brought down the right side here. The center lines up at the elbow on the right side. So the guard elects to pass here, initiating our weak side play. Upon the pass, he cuts right at the center and then goes on the lane side and ends up on the baseline next to the basket just outside the lane. This forward here on this pass right here times his cut to come around the guard screen, natural screen, on his way down to the basket. Here is where the forward has Three, in essence, three options, three scoring pass options. The first one being to the forward coming across right here. In this case, the forward can stop and shoot a short jumper, an eight or ten foot jumper, or he can continue on to the basket for a layup, which in many cases happens. Or the center, using these two players as a screen, pops in here and he becomes option number two. When he gets the ball at option number two, we encourage him to shoot, but he also can drop the ball off to one of these two players down in here. They can also screen for each other down in here. Option three is to wait for this man to settle down here, and he hooks back, and we get him in as a low post player on the block. So we have option number one, option number two, option number three on the weak side play. If none of these are comfortable for the three man who can shoot or drive to the basket also, he will kick the ball back out to the guard and we run continuity of weak side play. So here, here is weak side play with Ford having the ball and he has opted to not hit the cutter, the forward coming by, the center coming at him, and he elects to pass the ball back out on top. The guard can shoot the three or pass the ball to the other guard coming up. This guard can turn and shoot, or turn and hit this man along the baseline. So here's another option that could be run with weak side play, but we're continuing it on with a little bit of continuity. So now we're just continuing on to show you the continuity of the weak side play. The forward, who did not pass to the other forward cutting, did not pass to the center, passed it to this forward, or to this guard, this guard passed it here. This man has the ball. He can shoot. He can pass. 
He elects to just dribble it out. When he does, this man comes out here and just makes the pass here. Upon that pass, this guard, because we did a guard-to-guard -guard pass, is going to continue on. And here we got weak side play cut on the other side. So again, this forward has the same options as the other forward did. We've got the first pass, first option of the forward coming off the double screen. We've got the center, second option, third option going back low to the forward posting up. And then we can come back around. We can actually keep the continuity going and going and going. Not likely to happen, but for practice purposes, we can practice that continuity of our weak side play. So here we are lined up in our basic set, our half court offense against man to man. We have our two guards about 10 to 12 feet apart. Our forwards are about three feet from out of bounds, free throw line extended, and our center is at the elbow on the ball side. Guard brings the ball down the court. Here we're going to have him pass to the forward and cut to the corner. So when he cuts to the corner, here, the center is going to position himself on the block. And this guard comes over here. And this forward moves down here. So again, this is our basic set, what we call strong side. Strong side, meaning we've got three guys on one, three players on one side of the court and the, with the ball. This would be our weak side on this side over here. So strong side, we've got our strong side triangle. We make it our effort to get the ball into the center, and the defense has collapsed down, or they're fronting, or whatever the reason, we're having a tough time getting in there. Now we can go strong to weak. So this player is going to pass the ball out to the guard here. We already discussed that when this player gets the ball, this man rises up to the elbow here, and this player comes out here. So if we continue the pass on here, in other words, we don't elect to make this pass and split the post, this is what we call strong to weak. We set up on the strong side, and we go on weak side. So when we go from strong to weak, the forward fakes to the basket and cups, cuts around, just as he does a weak side play, only he only has the center to screen for him, not the other guard. This guard comes up and just goes around the center. He is not a pass receiver in this case, but he will actually be screening a natural screen for the center. So option number one is the pass in here, much like weak side play. And option number two is to the center, much like weak side play. And we've gone strong to weak. We can continue this on with a pass back out. Here, this guard comes back out, and now we're in weak side play. We started out strong side, now we're in weak side play. So here we are again, set up with our men positioned such that we're running against a man in our half court set. We have our two guards. Forward's about three feet from out of bounds, free throw line extended, center at the elbow on the ball side. Now, so far we've taken everything to the right, but we could, if this guard.